I'm really not supposed to be here to start this movie. I wanted my wife to take over. We finally talked her into it. These movie men set the date. And then she went out and got herself a permanent. Well, it looks like a pretty good permanent to me. But she says the ends are all um, frizzy or something. So, no picture. I don't know. I still think she's trying to pull a fast one. Never underestimate the resourcefulness of a woman. So, I'm here to tell you about two General Electric Rangers. The Liberator and the Stratoliner. GE wanted me to say that right off. They're making no bones about it. They want you to know about GE Rangers. And buy one. We bought a GE because, well, actually, it was for two reasons. In the first place, we had an electric range before. And shortly after we changed to electric cooking, my wife said she'd never go back to the old way again. We think cooking food electrically is the only way. Just as we think the only way to light our house is electrically. It's as simple as that. Electric cooking is in our home to stay because it's easier. It's cleaner, more accurate. Plus, a lot of other advantages. Which brings up the second reason we bought our General Electric range. After shopping around, we learned that General Electric ranges make the most of those advantages. In other words, this Stratoliner has more features that are really worthwhile than anything else we could find. I'm supposed to tell you about these features, but I'm no salesman. So I thought I'd tell you what the salesman told us. We were supposed to meet at the dealers, my wife and I. Only I was a bit late. So my wife went ahead and, well, here's how it happened. Beautiful range, isn't it? I've never seen things that look like this before. What are they for? They're for letting you do what comes naturally. Here's what I mean. Do you remember the old-fashioned doorbell? It was discarded for this kind that you push. Remember how tiresome it was to tune way across the dial like this? Now you just push. Most of us still have to do this. But in a high-class car, you just push. Well, GE engineers said, that in your high-class range, you should have to do no more than push. Want to try it? You mean that turns on the heat? Right. Try one of them. See how easy it is. Well... See what I mean? A push-button range. Cooking control at your fingertips. Nothing could be easier or more natural. Just touch the button. You're on high. Ready for low? Another feather-light touch, and you've got it, without going through all the other heats to get there. Now you turn it off. See? It's fun to use, and you don't have to go through the other heats to get what you want. It's push-button magic. It's the easiest, quickest cooking control you've ever seen. They've even curved the buttons to fit your fingertip. They're cool to the touch, and they stay that way. Mmm, they're pretty, too with all those colors shining through them. The colors are the GE Telecook lights. They always tell what's cooking and just how fast. You cook by color. Let's imagine a typical cooking operation. You're in the middle of a big meal. Every surface unit is in use. 
You're over here on the other side of the kitchen frosting a cake. Suddenly you wonder, did you turn down the heat under the peas? Well, no need to drop everything to walk over to the range. You just look. The telecook light tells you. When you cook by color, you can tell at a glance from across the room what's on and at what speed. Look, the color is green. It's the economical low cooking heat that keeps the cooking going but doesn't boil away the liquid. So relax. The telecook light tells you the peas are doing all right. Other colors tell the other heat. Guesswork is eliminated. Here the color is red. Red signals a high heat for fast starting. You start on red and cook on green. Can you imagine anything more simple and easy? Just start on red, cook on green. Then there's blue, a holding heat to keep cooked food at just the right serving temperature, or for melting chocolate, or to make those thick sauces that uncontrolled heat burns so easily. You use yellow for fast preheating with a small utensil on the right rear unit. Or, it's perfect for fast frying, dribbling, and sautéing on the front units, too. And purple gives you a perfect heat for a rolling boil or for gentle frying. You see, you're never left guessing when you cook with a GE. There's a heat for every use, and you can tell at a glance which one you're using. You know... This range is beginning to grow on me. It'll do that, and for good reasons. Look at this. If you ever need to replace the telecook lamp, your husband can do it without moving the range from the wall. That's just one example of how GE has done away with all the old inconveniences. Another example is this control panel. It's functional in design. The controls are up where you can always see them. They're never hidden by cooking utensils. This utensil is about as high as any you'll ever use. And look, you can see everything right over it. Reach for one of the buttons. Notice the clearance between your arm and the utensil. You'll never get burned reaching for a switch on this range. Look how easy it is to get in here and clean. Plenty of working space, and everything is rounded and smooth. No corners, or cracks, or crevices to catch dirt and grease. Did you notice the profile? It's got a double slope that's different. It keeps the controls away from the heat and steam. Vapors go straight up like this, not over here to the control panel. And all this stays clean longer. Seems like a good idea. Hi, honey. Uh-oh, here's my husband, late as usual. Sorry, dear, traffic. Oh, this is Mr. Roberts. Uh, my name is Burton. I've been showing this new GE range to your wife. Oh, yes. Nice job. Uh, honey, I have a lot to do this afternoon, so we better be moving along. You know, George, I'm kind of fond of this GE. Oh, our old stove's good enough. And anyway, if we did want to buy a new one, we'd want to look around first. Why, certainly. Why don't you shop around, Mrs. Roberts? I always say you can't fully appreciate a GE until you see what you don't get in other ranges. For instance? Well, take these cow rod units. Oh, no, wait a minute. Lots of other ranges have units that look just like that one. Uh, practically. Almost, but not quite. GE introduced cow rod in 1915. Since then, it's been improved, and it's been copied time and again. But it's never been equaled in sturdiness, efficiency, long life, or speed. Of no other cooking unit can it be said that of the millions of units sold, Less than one-half of one percent have been returned to the factory for service. And today, after 30 years of development and manufacture, GE has a new cow rod unit even better than before. It has quicker response, and it's easy to see why, because the cross-section of the new tube is 20 percent smaller than the old. That means less weight, less heat mass, so faster response. It goes up to high heat or down to low, quicker than ever. The coil itself is at least 25% longer than that in any other unit. That means more heating surface contacts the bottom of your pan. That puts cow rod in a position that's unbeatable in efficiency and speed. And cow rod is rugged. Each unit is hermetically sealed with glass for long life and is anchored to a welded stainless steel frame to support the heaviest utensil. Yet there's just enough freedom 
to let the coil expand and contract with the heat, like the spring in a watch. That's to prevent distortion. I just thought these technical matters would be of special interest to you, Mr. Roberts. There are points you can't overlook when you make an investment as important as this. Yes, very important. Uh, dear, we had better run along. All right. Oh, I do hope our next range has a built-in pressure cooker. That's what that is, isn't it, Mr. Burton? It's that and a lot more. I think my wife uses this triple unit more than any other feature on our range. She calls it a wife saver. That's because it can do so many things. For instance, as a pressure cooker, it cuts meat cooking time from hours to minutes. And the most economical cuts of meat come out tender and juicy, full of flavor and nutrition. Vegetables are done before you can say, too late, they're done. And do they look and taste good? You've never had anything like them. Pressure cooking is just number one in the long list of uses you'll find for your triple unit. On those lazy days when you want to get a meal without using a lot of pans, you'll use the deep well cooker. It takes a whole meal, meat, potatoes, and vegetables, all in one. It's well for stew, soup, and fresh steam corn, too. I'm not through yet. Suppose you're fixing one of those super Sunday dinners when you need an extra surface unit. Well, GE's got it. Just reach into the triple unit, lift, and like a rabbit out of a hat comes a fourth surface unit, just like the others. You don't need any tools to do this either. your range, Mr. Burton. It's beautiful. It's so, so clean looking. Oh, and it'll stay clean too, Mrs. Roberts. Electric heat is free of soot and grime. It's as fresh, clean, and safe as electric light. It won't stain your kitchen walls or curtains. Even the vapor that comes out of this oven vent is practically free of grease. Isn't that better than all over the walls, Mrs. Roberts? Uh-huh. And here's something else you want to know. All GE ranges are finished with porcelain enamel, and I mean finished. GE doesn't do a halfway job of it. If you'll peek in here, you'll see that the range is finished inside and out. That goes for all the panels and doors, the whole body from top to bottom. The GE steel body can't rust, even in those hidden places. The porcelain doesn't change color either, even after years of use. This frame is built to take the years without a raffle because it's a one-piece welded job that will stay true and rigid, an everlasting part of your home. And you don't have to worry about a place to keep your cooking utensils. This Stratoliner has three big drawers. One, two, three. Look inside. Each one is made from a single piece of steel. The rounded corners are easy to clean. And the silver luster finish needs only a lick and a promise. Look how easy it is to remove the drip tray when you have those occasional spillovers. You don't have to remove the drawer. All the drawers are cradled on ball bearings. They'll stay put in ordinary use, and yet they're easy to take out. This drawer has a warming unit. It warms foods and dishes, and is perfect for keeping your meal warm when you're late getting home. And if the warmer is on or off, it's no secret. The light in that switch tells you at a glance. Try it, Mr. Roberts. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about the oven? Is it a big one? The GE triple oven is big enough to take the biggest turkey you'll ever buy, or Enough food to make an oven meal for the largest family. It's got capacity plus. But the oven has more than capacity. Look at these other features. This whole oven lining is welded into a single piece with no cracks and all corners rounded. The lining is enameled inside and out for easy cleaning and long life. And notice the straight line rack supports. They're identified here with recipe book positions. And of course, there's a lamp to light up the oven interior. 
heads back out of the way and is easily replaced with an ordinary 25 watt lamp. The bake unit is Calrod, of course. It's fast, rugged, and dependable, like the surface units. It does a lot of work, so be sure you get Calrod. Over the unit is a baffle. It scientifically distributes the heat and assures uniform browning, whether the food is in the front or the back of the oven. With the push of a button, this unit gives you perfect charcoal-type broiling. The unit is anchored to a solid reflecting support. It gives you even broiling and increases efficiency. But let's take the support away so that we can see more features. The two big shelves in the master oven are bright finished. They'll stay sparkling for a long time and they're easy as pie to clean. With shelf space like this, you've got room for the biggest meal. Remember all that food I showed you? The master oven takes it without crowding and everything comes out just right. Yes, GE gives you a big oven. It's important. Just like sometimes a big dining room table is important. Once in a while you use a table like this to get maximum capacity. But nine meals out of ten, you use it this way to save work and space. That's old-fashioned common sense. Well, that same kind of common sense versatility is part and parcel of the GE Triple Oven. GE not only gives you this master oven for maximum capacity, but a speed oven as well for those nine meals out of ten. Nothing could be simpler. The whole bake unit comes out. You raise it, slide it in like any shelf, and presto, you've got the GE Speed Oven a one-shelf oven for 80% of your oven cooking. And how's this for efficiency? I'm going to put a tray of ice cubes here in the speed oven, and another one in the unused part of the master oven. Now I'll push bake and set the temperature control to, say, 400 degrees. Well, it's 2.30. We've four and a half minutes to wait. That's all the time it takes to preheat the speed oven to 400 degrees. Four and a half minutes. Time's up. Let's look at the ice cubes. Uh-huh. As we might expect, the cubes left in the speed oven are practically melted. And the other ones? Still frozen. Look at this. There's magic. Better known as GE efficiency. The answer is this reflector. It keeps the heat out of the bottom of the oven. All of it is used to cook the food in the speed oven. That means a saving in current, and it means faster preheating. You'll use it nine times out of ten for baking and roasting meals like this one, for instance. Did you notice that the speed oven is operated by the same buttons and temperature control used to control the master oven? And either oven can be timer controlled, too. And what about the broiler? The broiler is the third feature of the triple oven. When you broil with GE, you get charcoal results without the mess of charcoal. That's possible because the Calrod unit glows at charcoal temperature, and you can get any result you want according to your taste. This broiler meter ties in with the GE cookbook and tells just how far to put the meat from the unit. And you can use it without stooping. Try it, Mrs. Roberts. Oh, that is handy. Handy is the word for electric cooking. It gives you convenience, speed, economy, cleanliness, and extra free time. Suppose you want to join the beach party this afternoon. Who's going to stay home to cook supper? Your GE range will take over completely. That baked ham will have expert care while you're away sunning yourself. The automatic timer will accurately and safely turn the oven on and off for perfect results. The range did the work, but you'll get the credit. Oh, boy. What's for dessert? How about strawberry shortcake? Oh, you men. You've no idea of cooking problems. Now, where would I bake shortcake with ham in the oven? Ah, there's an answer to that question right over here. 
You can do the whole job at one time now with the GE Liberator. It has two complete ovens. There's a master oven, just like the one I just showed you, complete with broiler. And over here, a completely separate oven that also bakes, roasts, and broils. It's a complete oven in every respect. There are push-button controls for the master oven with temperature control here. Over here is another complete set, temperature control and push buttons for the second oven. Do you see what that means? Two ovens give you a flexibility that's never been known before. Suppose you want roast beef for dinner and a cake for dessert. Now usually, you have to start the cake early in the morning to clear the oven for the roast later on, but not with the General Electric Liberator. Here's the roast in the master oven, coming along fine. And here are the cake layers, done to a golden brown, ready for icing, while the roast goes merrily on. How's that for convenience? And that's only a hint of how two ovens can solve your two temperature cooking problems. Here's turkey in the master oven. And in the speed oven, under separate control for different time and temperature, are sweet potatoes and pie. And here's flexibility. A steak broiling in one oven, biscuits baking in the other. And of course, with that extra oven, you get enough added capacity to cook meals for the biggest gatherings. Which one can I send to your home, the Liberator or the Stradaliner? Oh, oh I think that's the Liberator. It's oh, but darling, that oven's plenty big enough. But I like biscuits with my steak. I steaks. know, but we've always thought that... Uh, excuse us, would you please? Of course. Molly, take a moment. Well, as you can see, Mrs. Roberts decided I like the Stradaliner better. Now, I don't do the important cooking in this house, but I do a lot of the eating. And believe me, the eating is good. But more than that, it's always good. Mrs. Roberts never seems to have any cooking failures. I think that's one of the best things about cooking with electricity. It's so easy to do a good cooking job every time. When the salesman came to visit us after we put the range in, he told us why. He said, when you make, say, a cake, you carefully measure out every ingredient so you get the same results as the last time. But the results can't be the same if you don't use the same amount of heat. Well, he said that with an electric range, you can measure out the heat you need, the same amount every time, like the ingredients in a recipe. And that makes all the difference in the world. We didn't believe them when they told us we could throw our double boiler away. But you'll notice I didn't use one for this Welsh rarebit. We found we don't need it. Because we not only can get high heats for fast starting and frying and so on, but we can also get a low, gentle heat, like the kind you get with a double boiler. How is it that salesman put it? I think he said electric heat has... Self-control. Yeah, that's it. I think that's why even a dub like me can get good results every time. Controlled heat takes the guesswork out of cooking. You know, we often wonder how we ever got along without our Stradaliner. Hardly a day goes by that we don't use our pressure cooker and the speed oven. And if we need four surface units, we can have them too. And we've learned the telecook light formula. Start on red. Cook on green. Nothing could be simpler. And those push buttons. Well, Mrs. Roberts is crazy about push button magic. I think you're going to like it too. Mm -hmm.